Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over some techniques for brewing Chinese green tea. Now there's a variety of different types of Chinese green teas as well as ways of brewing it. Today I'm going to share with you two ways that work really well for myself that can also help you avoid some bitterness or astringency that sometimes comes along with brewing green tea. Now Chinese green tea is quite unique because it's the least oxidized of all the different Chinese tea types, which means it spends the shortest amount of time exposed to air after picking. And usually green tea consists of full leaves, sometimes buds, of the Camellia sinensis variety sinensis plant, and it's picked for green tea. These leaves can be young, whole, or mature. The minimized oxidation, or kill green process, is employed through heat application. Tea producers might use a wok to heat the leaves for a short period of time, or they might roll and bake them. Pan frying or hot air drying is most common, as it enhances the aroma and brightness of the tea. Usually when you're brewing green tea, it's best to use around 170 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, or roughly between 80 and 85 degrees Celsius. Now, the particular temperature will be up to you and your taste profile, but it's usually best to start with a lower temperature and then gradually increase the temperature until you find a suitable temperature for the tea you're brewing. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The two methods I'm gonna be demonstrating today will be a gaiwan and tea pitcher and a simple glass cup method. I have three different types of Chinese green teas here today. They're all from Hunan and they're ranging in qualities, but all of these teas can use this same method. There's also other famous types of green tea that are grown in Hunan, Zhejiang, and Anhui that you can also use this method for. So we'll go ahead and start with the Gaiwan and Pitcher method. And before we get into it, we'll of course need water. I usually recommend using a water with low mineral content such as spring water, but you can also use filtered water. So we'll go ahead and load that up. And I'll go ahead and set this temperature to 80 degrees Celsius. And we'll wait for that to boil. Alrighty, now that the water is ready, we can go ahead and begin brewing. All you're going to need is a gaiwan and glass pitcher, and then go ahead and remove the lid. And this is my big tip for brewing green tea to help you avoid a lot of that bitterness or astringency you may sometimes encounter. That's to add the water first before you add the tea. So in the first infusion, we're going to add the water here. This is around 80 degrees Celsius or around 175 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to take this green tea and just go ahead and Drop it on top. And this will be the first infusion. This will allow the leaves to naturally and slowly infuse with the water instead of being agitated on the first infusion. And you'll get a really nice, light, subtle sweetness. Just let it sit there for a while. Depending on your taste profile, I usually like to do a shorter infusion, so under 30 seconds. I'll go ahead and pour this out. And then of course, you wanna remove this gaiwan lid so you don't trap heat and just allow the tea leaves to cool down and breathe a little bit. You also can appreciate the aroma of the leaves. So you can go ahead and repeat this process for about two to three times. Now obviously on the second and third infusion, you can't add water first. What you're gonna to wanna to do is still use that lower temperature. You're gonna pour from the side of the gaiwan to let the water slowly come under and up onto the leaves. That way it won't agitate those leaves. You also want to do a very, very quick infusion, so under 30 seconds. And you can go ahead and pour that out. And that will be one way you can brew green tea that you can try at home. So now we can go ahead and check out the next method. So this next method here is just gonna need a glass cup. I like to use a double wall 
tall glass cup so I can see the color and also not burn my hands. Um, this is a very common style. I've been very lucky to travel to places like Zhejiang and even visit Westlake. And this is one way I learned how to drink Longjing tea, especially if it was just picked and fresh. It's so delicious and aromatic. So they just gave you a glass cup like this. You go ahead and add the water first. So once again, I'm using around 80 degrees um, Celsius, which is around 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, of course, you can use a higher or lower temperature. I just like to start at this temperature as a baseline. And then you can adjust the temperature according to the tea type. Then we'll go ahead and take this tea here and we're just going to pour it right on top of the water. And then essentially you just slowly sip on this tea. And you may also know some of the leaves will sink to the bottom, but then also come back up. And that's what they mean when they say the tea leaves are dancing. This is particularly unique for green tea. So we'll go ahead and appreciate the aroma. And you will notice there are some leaves on top. That's totally normal. Um, you'll get more acquainted with drinking tea this way the more you do it. Um, just kind of blow them away when you drink them. Mm, green tea is so comfortable, especially in the hotter weather. I particularly like to drink green teas and raw pours in the spring and summer because they tend to help me tolerate the heat better. So once you've taken a few sips, you can actually then go ahead and add more water or you can wait till you drink a little bit more and you can continue to do so until the flavor is a little bit lighter. So it's more of a casual way of enjoying this green tea, but it makes it really fun and enjoyable and makes a different taste profile than you would with the Gaiwan. So go ahead and let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite way to brew green tea and what are some of your favorite green teas? If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks so much.